Are you reading this as well? I've always been fascinated by the anti-apartheid struggle. Mm. Jo? Mm hmm I feel a bit bad about all of this. All of what? With Danny. He's really upset about it. He's lucky he's around to be upset. But, you know, I... He's telling me all about how he put that policy together. We put it together, actually. Where is Danny, anyway? I don't really know. Lunch? You don't have time for long lunch breaks. I wasn't actually at, um... Uh, hi, is that Mrs. Kelly? Um, it's Danny Foster. You, you remember we talked about Brandon and his Asbo. Yeah. How's he doing now? You mentioned going back to college. Right? Right? Okay. That's a uh, pity. How long? Two years. I see. Okay, yeah, thanks. You too. Bye, 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 bye. So, how did you get into it all? Politics, I mean. Well, um, my dad came over here in the 1970s, and he was just incredibly hardworking, you know, and struggled with everything and never asked for any favours from the state. Started a small rice importing business and made sure I went to a good school. And he instilled a work ethic of rugged individualism in all of us that made me just realise the utter folly of socialism. That's not true, is it? <laughs> Complete bollocks. <laughs> no. My dad is lifetime Labour, although he's so fucking lazy, he usually forgets to vote. No, he, um, he worked in the computer department for the city council. Uh, my brother runs a club in Leicester. Nice. My sister is usually outraged about something, so that makes me the rebel rebel of the family. So what about you? What are your family like? My dad died a few years ago. Uh, my mother's a psychological terrorist. Oh, it's unusual in a mother. My brother's in politics. This is all true, by the way. And do you get on with your brother, I mean? Uh, get on? I don't know about that. I've never really thought about it. Uh, he's just a family geek. You know? <clears throat> I'm afraid we are now closing. We're nearly done. Everybody else is gone. We'll let you know when we'd like the bill, thanks. So when do you want your clients to meet James? Good lunch. Oh, you know. Lasted a long time. Hmm. James? Came back from his meeting with George, rather grumpy. Ha <laughs> surprise, surprise. When's he back? No, he's gone back to the farm for the night to finish something up, he said. Do you want a coffee? Mrs. Williams, it's Daniel Foster. Remember, I was doing the research on kids with asbos. Ah, you do remember good. Yes, I remember the wrong punch. Well, I couldn't go to work for a week afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. How's Patrick? Receive it. Receive it. There it goes. There it goes. Come on, come on. Stop it there, Ben. Stop it there on the chest. Come on, man. Come on, on the chest. Come on, get your leg round it. Come on. Up the knee like you want it. Like you want it. That's it. Go on. Hey, Patrick. Hey, hey, hey. I thought you lot just came down, took what you wanted, and then forgot about us. Well, that's how I prefer it, blood, but not this time. Lots of changes in your life recently. Been doing mentoring in pupil referral units, explaining to the youth them what it's like being locked up. Yeah, that's good. So? So, your mum says you're finishing your course. Level 2 and VQ in health and social care. You want to get into social work, she said. Nah. <laughs> uh, you find it expensive? I had to bust into a few houses at night to afford the books. Jokes. 
It's an example of what could be achieved with our bond, what it's all about, really. So, I was wondering about bringing your MP down for a photo opportunity with you and your certificate. Gang member turned do-gooder. You got it. And who's this opportunity really for? All of us. What are you so pleased about? James Northcote, news to the new Tories. Meeting set up. Mission accomplished. Think member George Bush said something similar? The important thing is, is that we win the account, right? Eh? Of course. So we need to hit them with a big charm offensive tonight. What? Alex and Sally from Portman Bright's PR department have arrived in London and we're taking them out tonight. Oh, tonight? Yep. And you knack it after the other night? No. I keep telling you. A trip to the gym and you're right, it's rain again. Don't all have your appetite or stamina. Come on. We'll pick up some gear, keep us going. It'll be a laugh. Bottom line is, we're in this together. So let's nail the fucker. <laughs> Someplace else. You got a private member's bar, Jake? No. Oh. I have several. <clears throat> they actually fight for my name on the membership list because it's synonymous with giving the bounce something to do with the end of the night. Where Jake goes, the beautiful crazy people follow. I am the Pied Piper of the party crowd. Well, quick two first. They're off their heads. Right. Come on, show a little faith. There's magic in the night. We're coming to fill for bail. Man. What? It's early. No way. Come on, mate. This is your department. I've set up all the meetings. Give us a break. Who is it? Sophie. Go on, then. Fuck off. Mind and tell old truly scrumptious since I think someone on the cards if I get back at a decent time. Oh, I'll definitely do that. Especially with it being so light. I've got some reports to write for the morning. I'm going to leave you my colleague's capable hands. Shouldn't you still be out partying with your prospective clients, then? God, no. No one them remembering what I was like at six in the morning. What about keeping an eye on Jake? I didn't ask him to hold my hand while I was out sorting out means for them. No, that was my job. How did you get on with James Northcote today? Yeah, I met his advisor instead, Sheikha Chandramani. Oh. And what did you make of her? You yeah, seemed okay. Ambitious girl. You should never get on in politics, then. Jin Jin. And she's pretty. Not really my type. <laughs> Glenn. This one? It's my little brother. She's back from a couple of months in Cape Town. Why do posh people always have silly nicknames? Darkness. Why do we happily eat food past its sell by date? Why do we despise central heating? Why do we so enjoy fucking men who are not our social equal? Morning. Uh, how was lunch with the lobbyists yesterday? Fine. What did you make of him? Who? Scott Foster, of course. Yeah, I think he has some interesting perspective clients you should meet. I've penciled a lunch into your diary for next week. You're right. Sorry, what happened to make it up to you tonight? I know. I'm sorry. I, I did leave you an email. Yeah, I saw that. Good. The thing is, I need to spend a little more time on famille this week. Because saying it in French makes it less annoying? We should be careful, that's all. What's happened? George must have said something. Not in so many words, no. You're going to go back this weekend as well, right? There must be some of your crowd you can go out with. Because <laughs> that's not condescending. Ashika, this place is like a goldfish bowl. Sometimes we just have to protect ourselves. But who are you really protecting? Both of us. 